Anthony McCam. FlySanford.com, Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Visiting friends and family or just looking for some fun? Book your vacation now to one of their nonstop destinations, including Amsterdam, Brussels, Mexico City, San Juan, as well as over 70 domestic destinations, including New Orleans. For enjoyable travel, come to Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Before you fly, FlySanford.com. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, five minutes. After 11 o'clock, I'm always fascinated by people who have gone from rags to riches. Always fascinated by that. I mean, and you know, money is an interesting element in our lifetimes, and, and we always celebrate people who do great things in this world. But the truth is, if you can't afford a Big Mac, if, if you are, you know, one of the cheapest places to get a sandwich in the world is, you know, those kind of places, McDonald's and Burger King, et cetera, and I like them. But, but can you imagine, like, you have to go and get... I don't know what you mean. Raymond Noodle. I've, I've, had the, I've had the Raymond Noodle segment of my life. Oh, me too. I've had that part of my Raymond life. Raymond Noodles and tomato soup. Uh, yeah. And if you've ever wanted to have a business and uh, make it work, there might be something you're missing out on. Um, Evan Carmichael went through all of that. He's going to help you figure out what you can do with your own business ideas to make them successful so you can afford way more, way more than that Big Mac. Uh, Evan Carmichael is named one of the top 100 great leadership speakers by Time Magazine. He's named one of the top 40 social marketing talents by Forbes Magazine. He's the founder of a biotech software company uh, and has been, or he was, I don't know if he sold it or not, but he's been doing this since he was a teenager. Uh, He's the founder of EvanCarmichael.com, which makes sense. And... um, He's talking to us about his book titled Your One Word, The Powerful Secret to Creating a Business and Life That Matters. Evan Carmichael, what an honor. Thank you so much for being on our show. Mr. Ocala, Larry Whitler. <laughs> Mr. Ocala. I am Mr. Ocala. <laughs> I like that's a new name. New Where, name. Are, you on a, are you on a speakerphone, Evan? No. No? Sounds like one, doesn't it? Um, where are you? Where are you it's calling from? Computer. I'm based in Toronto, Canada. Oh, you're in Toronto. Oh, that explains the sound. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Uh, is it cold up there right now? Uh, we're getting there. There's no snow yet, but it's coming soon. We're, we'll see if we have a white Christmas or not. Okay, okay. Um, the book is so interesting. Your story is so interesting. So um, let's talk about your story real quickly, and then I want to be fair to the book, because the book is what the listeners are going to want to know about. But tell me about yourself. You you had a moment in your life when you couldn't afford McDonald's, it says here. Yeah, uh, I, had a, I had a biotech software company. I was making $300 a month at the start. Uh, we would celebrate, the McDonald's stores, we would celebrate any big win with going to McDonald's and getting fries because uh, we couldn't I couldn't afford to get the full meal right, so right. McDonald's fries still when I eat a McDonald's fries like a little bit of celebration <laughs> that's, that's all I could afford at the time um, yeah I mean a lot of the pains of the early days of an entrepreneur and I'm sure a lot of your listeners who started business have gone through that and um, I managed to make it through and I don't know how much of the story you want to get into but well, well required yeah. The question I have about that period of your life is how did you know to stick with it? In other words, somebody else looking from the outside in might say, why don't you just give it up and, and find something else that pays more? How did you know to hang on to your idea? Fear of regret. You know, I had job opportunities to, to, to do $80,000, $100,000 starting salary with uh-huh. what I thought was my dream job. And you know what? I, and this was not an easy decision. It's easy to look back now and say, oh, yeah, it all worked out. But it was right. the most difficult decision I ever had to make in my life. I just imagine myself looking back on my life and saying, will I regret not giving this my all? Will I regret not just doing a little bit more and seeing if this will work out? Because I could, I, could, I could live with it not working. But I couldn't live with the idea that I could have done a little bit more to try. And so that was what motivated me to keep going. 
Now, we, the book is called Your One Word, and I know you talk about mottos. Um, why, okay, before you tell me how a motto works, I want to know why a motto makes a big difference. Is it because, th- is it for you? Is it a personal thing, just something you remember? Or is it something you plaster on every product? Like, you know, almost every product has a motto s- associated with it. What What is it about the motto that makes a big difference? I think, to start off, you want to think about a core value. And some people look at it only through the lens of marketing. Like, hey, we want to get our radio station to number one, or we want to get this book to number one. And so you come up with a fancy marketing slogan for it. It only works if, if it's rooted in something more deep. And I think most people are living in the mud. Most people feel like they could be doing more with their life or in their career, mm-hmm. and, they're, and they're not, and they don't know why. And it, it starts off as having that personal motto or personal mission statement or personal value or personal one word, understanding who you are and what you stand for, and then stop living your life according to the expectations of other people and stop being so reactionary and now actually doing something with intent moving forward. But does the motto reach the potential customer and, and turn a light on so that they have a better idea of what you're selling? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you want to make it easy for people to talk about you. What was your motto? You want to give them... Mine is, mine is around, it's just belief. The one word is the motto. And then from belief. there, you, okay. can, you, can, you can expand. So if I'm talking to entrepreneurs, I could talk about their business. If I'm talking about people in their relationships, we can talk about that. You know, it just depends on the context. Right, right, But right. people need to understand what you stand for if you want them to spread your message. Like, we're all busy lives. We all have a ton of stuff going on, and for the entrepreneurs listening, yeah. your customers have an opportunity every single day to talk about your business yeah. and refer you clients, but they're not. And it's not because you're not providing a great service, you're just not giving them something memorable to latch onto. You gotta make it easy for people to spread your message for you. So because what, uh, one of the things that attracted me about your book is the fact that you have something different to say. We, Robin and I have spoken to a lot of authors, and a lot of authors that have written books about how to be successful in business. And I and all of them have something important to say, but I don't think we had anybody, maybe ever, that has this specific message. I think you and, and I I absolutely agree with you. I, I think it's essential. I mean, uh, whether it's a baseball team with a logo, I, I, and by the way, I don't know if you agree that logos and mottos sometimes can serve the same purpose, but it's that whole idea of something to grab onto to, to give you a quick easy bite size understanding of what's going on in that company and why you would spend money on it 100% a, a logo is a visual manifestation of what you stand for or it should be at least yeah. uh, a logo should not just be something that looks pretty but should reflect the values of what your company is all about but you also have to have a balance there because usually people uh, will get a job because they have responsibility, they have a spouse, they have a child or children, and at least they know when they're working for somebody else, they're going to have a paycheck to put food on the table for their family. But once to uh, get that courage to venture out on your own to do what's in your heart, that's a pretty scary. 100%. And, and my message isn't everybody needs to go be an entrepreneur. My message is you need to live up to your potential. And that could be within a company. And you find the people who succeed the most at a business, they align well with the values of the business. They believe in the mission of the business. If you, if you are a very honest person, as an example, and you're working at a company that doesn't value honesty, that's like, yeah, we'll, we'll rip off our clients. Right. The problem, like, you're not going to have success there. No, absolutely. And you're, yeah. And you're going to feel so bad about what you're doing every day. <laughs> that you need to, And that, that may mean you go find another job at an honest company or it may mean you start your own thing. So the message definitely is not, hey, everybody, quit your jobs right now and do your own thing. Yeah. But I encourage people to think about that one core value that you have, first of all, identifying it, because most people don't have the self-awareness to know what it is yet, and then reflecting on everything in your life, your relationships, your career, your work. Is it matching up, or are you falling short? You know, I, can I tell you a quick story of my own? And, and uh, this goes back, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of old, so this goes way back to the early 80s, okay, just so you know. Back when I was younger, I played guitar, and I did concerts at colleges, and I went from school to school and gave a little one-hour concert and went on to the next school. And so I was that was my product, and I was selling my product. And I had an idea, 
and I named my concert um, a concert for dreamers. I said that a concert for dream rather than just Larry's going to come play guitar for you. I called it a concert for dreamers. And you know that little phrase got the phone ringing. Just just that. That's all I had to mm -hmm. say was, and and I don't know why it was. And the reason that w I'm reminded of that is because you have in the book the word that sells a fantasy, and that's what I thought. I thought, you know what I'm really doing? I'm I'm giving people uh, something that's not real. It's it's. I mean, it's 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 some it's a moment that's you, you're kind of escaping, and and I think that's what you're trying to say, and in in, at least in that chapter. A hundred percent. And for you to have the self awareness to know that, like you like dreamers. You will be great in an environment around dreamers. Like the guests that you want to have on your show need to be dreamers. If you have a boring, stiff, non-dreaming Jack on your show, Larry's going to be pretty unhappy with that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So it's great, right? So now, okay, design, you can you can give guidance to your team, guys. We need dreamers. We need dreamers on this show. You well, can look at your personal. I don't know if you have kids or not, but well, thinking about. That's absolutely yep. true. Yeah, and and I always right. I always think it just to expand on what you were just saying. Same thing with believe, is that yep. I I want people I want people who believe in themselves because yep. those people are more exciting to me, and I want people who can dream about th making their lives better because those people are exciting to me. So the, the two things work hand in hand. A hundred percent. And and if you're all about dreaming, like you could do that within the context of a, of a corporate situation. It may, it may be that you do your own business, but if you get to be around dreamers and work on big projects, that's going to make Larry happy. For some people, that's scary. Like, dude, Larry, you're, you're off on this wacko dreaming thing, man. I just want security. I value security. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. right. So, yeah. like, right. People, some people look at your thing and say, man, that's nuts. I would never do that. This is a uh, uh, you're, giving, right. uh, you're giving me a great conversation, a great interview, Evan, but we have to take a little break uh, because sure. because we have this dream of actually making money with radio. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's take that little break, and we will be right back. The book, again, is called Your One Word, The Powerful Secret to Creating a Business and Life That Matter. Evan's one word is believe, and uh, Evan Carmichael, of course, is our guest, and uh, we'll be right back. And by the way, at the end of the interview, I will give the copy of the book that he sent us away. So let me uh, take the break, and uh, we'll be right back. This is WOCA. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Say boating is no accidents. On this Tuesday, a lot of clouds, breezy, warm and humid, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm crossing the area into this evening. High today, 80 to 84, and mostly cloudy later Tuesday night, low 52 in the northern part of the zone to 63 in the south. Wednesday, sunshine returns with lower humidity, highs the 70s. Thursday, partly sunny, high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee, all for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. When you go into Automax, Marion County's number one pre-owned dealer for over 15 years, you won't take the new car depreciation because Automax saves you thousands on late model vehicles. Browse the inventory online at AutomaxOcala.com. Then come down to see the great vehicles and upfront pricing in person. Compare up to 60 models inside the Climate Control Showroom. So take your time. No high pressure, no gimmicks, no games. On the corner of 17th and Easy Street. Automax. Quality cars, outlet prices. I'm Jennifer, the Executive Director of Palm Garden, and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I'm Mary Ann, the Director of Clinical Services, and my staff and I will ensure that the needs of all our residents are met. I'm Sue, the Director of Guest Services, and I will be fluffing pillows for our new guests staying with us over the holidays. I'm Crystal, also from Palm Garden, and I hope each of you have a blessed Christmas as we celebrate the Savior's birth. Merry Christmas from Palm Garden! The entire world watched. They watched each step down the rungs of that small ladder, one after another, and waited with great anticipation for that last step. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. At that moment, humanity saw the impossible become the possible. And today, the sky is not the limit. Achievement. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. 
A young woman contemplating having an abortion is told by society that whether she has her baby or not, it is her choice. The House of One in Faith in Ocala wants to give that young woman a place to live in comfort during her trying time to help her know that God's love is abundant and that He is not ashamed of her in any way. The House of One in Faith is free and confidential. For more information, call 352-687-8895. It's after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. If you have ever um, wanted to uh, pursue something, whether it's uh, personal or business, uh, then you probably have believed in yourself. And your one word by Evan Carmichael is really about believing in yourself. That, In fact, that one word in his world is believe, and uh, I think you can take that as well. I don't think it's copyrighted. Um, Evan, thank you for waiting through the break. So I have a question for you. Now you are successful. I, 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 from our perspective, I don't know how you consider yourself, but what do you do to celebrate now besides French fries? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's interesting. I'm not really into celebration mode anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I celebrate enough to be honest. I'm so focused on the big picture and the mission that like little wins, like this is book launch day for me. It's today. I see it much more as like my, my wedding day is not important. The marriage is right. And so I don't, I don't celebrate uh, launches probably enough or a little milestones enough. Uh, I'm much more focused on the bigger, longer term stuff. Well, that's a, that's a very smart way of looking at it, and I'm not trying to bring politics into this. But when Donald Trump was uh, was elected, he the first thing he said was, "We're not successful yet. This is just the beginning." So he, I mean, I, I, I whether you like him or not, you got to agree with that statement. It's just the beginning. You, you, there's no way to measure the success in the beginning, day one, right? Sure. I mean, and I'm Canadian, so I didn't get to vote anyway. <laughs> uh, since your uh, word is uh, believe, how important is prayer? Um, I am not a very religious person. Uh, for 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 me, I think, feel like I'm more spiritual. But um, a lot of people who have believe as their one word do definitely incorporate it. For me, once you identify what your one word is, you you need to break it down into the three core components of it. That helps you have a roadmap for your life as well as. Uh, give guidance for the people to what the message is. So for me, it breaks down to most people think believe in self confidence, which is definitely part of the message. But it's also believe in what you're doing, and so have passion for your work, for your work, and believe that it's going to work out, and the conviction. So believe for me breaks down into the self confidence, passion, and conviction. Sure. And uh, sure. Co- uh, conviction also includes the word action. Correct. Hundred percent. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have to take action. Yeah, you can't believe in yourself and not do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, somebody who's looking for the one word that will help motivate them, their their own motto. It says here that you have some questions we can ask ourselves so we can figure out what that word might be. What are those questions? Sure. You, you can start by understanding that this is something that you've always been. It's not something that you're just trying to be right now. It's someone you've always been and you always will be. And so think about who you were 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when you're putting on concerts in the 80s and you're about dreamers. Larry was a dreamer back then. Larry's still a dreamer right now. Larry will still be a dreamer in the next 20 years. And so think about what has been the constant in your life. Uh, think about what makes you happy. Think about the people that make you happy, the TV shows that make you happy, the radio shows that make you happy, the movies, the books. What makes you happy and what, what's the constant thread through that? Um, and if you can't figure that out, then go negative. Like, yeah. Who are the people that you absolutely can't stand being around <laughs> and why? That's a good and one. And why do you hate those people? Like, I never want to be around this kind of person again. Think about the opposite. So that's your anti-war. Think about the opposite, and that's what you are naturally drawn towards. Well, you know, it's funny that you said that because I'm wondering about the people who don't believe, who didn't believe in you. Uh, I know this is kind of a personal question, but when you were younger. Uh, it, since you, I mean, I understand and, and agree with what you're saying that if you're a believer now, then you will be when you're 80, and you probably were when you were eight. Um, and, and I just think that's the way we are we are wired. But but somebody else might look at a, an eight year old who absolutely believes he's going to. I don't know, ride the win, the, win a triathlon or, or uh, get a home run, you know, in the game, whatever it is, somebody else might say, you're stubborn, and, and stubborn is like a negative word, but it really means the same thing. You, you just don't, you don't want to give up. You believe that you will accomplish whatever it is, whatever it takes. Yeah, you know, you're going to have 
little the little man, I call it the little man in your life, the, the haters, the people who throw rocks at you. You know, I see people who are chasing their dreams as, as gladiators, and we're in the center of the theater, and we're putting on a show, we're trying to chase our dreams, and we're on public display, and sometimes we may lose that fight, and the little man is, is the spectator up in the seats throwing popcorn and laughing and joking at you uh, because they're too afraid to actually get in the arena and fight themselves. Uh, and so you'll, you'll have a lot of those people in your life who maybe took their shot and then they didn't, they didn't succeed, and so now nobody else around them is allowed to succeed. And you need to uh, rid yourself of those people as soon as possible. Do you know who Clark Howard is, the uh, radio announcer? The name sounds very familiar. Okay. Well, you and he have something in common. It says here you have a stand-up desk. He does, too. He does his show <laughs> standing at his desk. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, I'm standing right now. I love it. Yeah, I've been I, doing it for like 10 years. I figured you were. Uh, and you have something in common with Robin's son also. You you wear five-toed shoes. He, he likes That's these right. too. That's right. He loves them. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm barefoot most of the time. I'm barefoot right now, but uh, when I go out, I use five-toed shoes. Listen, I had, I had back and knee problems in my early 20s. I was going to see a chiropractor every day in my early 20s. And uh, going to a stand-up desk and then going barefoot solved both problems. So I'm, uh, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, uh, you also love to use your talents to raise money for others. Yeah, I think maybe you're talking about the Kiva thing Kiva. Um, in the bio. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I want to give back. I want to have an impact. Uh, you know, the message itself is, is helping a lot of people start lives for themselves, helping a lot of people get out of poverty, helping a lot of people believe in themselves more and have some confidence. Um, we, we've raised over $100,000 for a charity that um, I believe in called Kiva, where it's a microloan program to help entrepreneurs yeah. get started. And um, that's one of the things that, that, um, that we do. I think, I think, you know what, I think if you have the ability, then you have the responsibility. Uh, Whenever some people don't have the ability, and so that's okay, but if you have the ability, then you need to, you need to devote some of your time, even time. Like, if you don't have a ton of cash, great. Just devote some time to helping your That's community right. get stronger. Absolutely. Whenever I've been around somebody who is so confident and, and so positive as Evan, I, I think it's contagious. It's it's mm -hmm. hard, though, to hang out with somebody like Evan because they're usually too busy. So I think the book is your next best bet to hanging out with somebody like Evan. Yeah. I have a copy of the book. It's called Your One Word. Uh, call me if you want it, and it's yours. The rest of us will have to go buy it. Um, Evan, do you have a, uh, a website you can direct us to? Uh, just off my name, com. All the info is up on there. All right. You, you let, me, let me give away the book real quickly. I, I know there's an echo, but I'll, t I'll do this real quick. Good morning. You've got the book. Who's this? Uh, my name is Mike. Mike, do you know where we are? Yeah, I do. Okay, Mike. Uh, what's the first initial of your last name? A. Okay, Mike A. Okay, you've got it. It'll be waiting for you here at the studios. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, well, there's a, 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 that's always a sign that it's going to be a big seller when we get calls coming in that quickly like that. So, and I don't think it's because it's free. We've we've give away books that nobody takes too. So yeah. just, just so you know that. <laughs> uh, you are right. so you are so positive. You really seem to have a good balance with everything, but you have to be strong for yourself, and sometimes that's hard. Yeah, and I think I think you need to create the environment. You know, a lot of people have these bold ideas. You know, you, you have, you, maybe you listen to this show and Larry and Robin get you all excited and, and you're all motivated to do something. And then the next day you wake up and poof, it's gone. Like I'm starting over from scratch. What happened? Your environment sucks you back down to where you were. Sometimes and that so happens. You know, yeah. Yeah. But you can, you can plan it in. Like if you're about dreaming, then put John Lennon and the quote on the wall and, and make a, you know, concerted effort to start your day with something that allows those dreams to come alive so instead of it happening by accident that you tune into a great radio show plan for it read something in the morning make a phone call with somebody you know watch a video read a book whatever it is change your environment and I'll support that best version of yourself absolutely boy you're speaking my language uh evan carmichael thank you for what you're doing and for coming on the air to share your, your um, wisdom with us um do you celebrate the holidays I do. <laughs> well, I do. Go, don't just do French fries. Do something better yeah. than French fries. <laughs> and, and I know you have a son. I, I, lo I love the fact that you're um, a family man, too. Thank you for being on the air with us today. That was fun. 
Thanks, guys. You've been uh, a real breath of fresh air. I love it. All right. We will take a little break, and we will be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Say boating is no accidents. On this Tuesday, a lot of clouds, breezy, warm and humid, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm crossing the area into this evening. High today, 80 to 84, and mostly cloudy later Tuesday night, low 52 in the northern part of the zone to 63 in the south. Wednesday, sunshine returns with lower humidity, highs the 70s. Thursday, partly sunny, high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Fire officials in Oakland, California, hoping the number killed won't climb past the 36 bodies recovered. Oakland Fire Battalion Chief Robert Lipp says 85% of the building has been searched. There's one corner that remains unstable, uh, and then that's another thing that we're going to be doing throughout the day today is stabilizing that corner so that we can search that last section. Fox's Adam Housley on the criminal investigation. District Attorney Nancy O'Malley says all charges are possible. We're looking at two things. One is whether or not there is any criminal liability attached to this fire and secondly if there is criminal liability against whom ronald glasser the man who shot former nfl player joe mcknight to death in a possible case of road rage near new orleans has been arrested and jailed under charge of manslaughter and the supreme court rules for samsung in its fight with apple fox news we report you decide Holiday shopping can be a real hassle. As if dealing with the mall wasn't challenging enough, it's almost impossible to find something people both want and need. I'm David McNeil, owner of WeatherTech, and I have the perfect gift idea this holiday season. WeatherTech Floor Liners. WeatherTech Floor Liners are laser measured to perfectly fit and protect a vehicle's carpeting from spills as well as dirt, snow, slush, and salt. And the best part is, WeatherTech floor liners slide right into the footwell of the vehicle, so there's no assembly required. WeatherTech floor liners are made with American pride, right here in the USA, so you know you're getting the highest quality. This year, give the gift of protection with WeatherTech car mats and floor liners, and you won't even have to go to the mall. Find out how you can get WeatherTech protection delivered right to your door by shopping online at WeatherTech.com or calling 1-800-CAR-MATS. Happy holidays. The Ad Council. Veterans are the foundation upon which our freedom is built. Listen to The Source WOCA each Thursday at 9 a.m. to Veterans News with Hank Whittier from Vets Helping Vets. You'll hear tributes, information on veterans' issues, and stories that will make you laugh, cry, and feel proud. Veterans News always focuses on the military, past and present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines, Camellia Gardens, and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. Have you heard of Hyper Directory? When looking for local businesses, go to hyper.directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to local companies when it matters most. Hyper Directory is your local business directory partnered with the Ocala Chamber, an economic partnership to bring you trusted local businesses. Keeping Ocala local. Use hyper.directory, no triple W, not even dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to businesses when it matters most. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. We are more motivated to walk when we're at an interesting destination. Boy, I agree with this, whether it's a park, down Main Street, or even at the mall. The people we sit next to at work, we now know they can have a huge impact on our performance. Our mucous membranes dry out on planes. We lose some of the food's aroma. But breathing more deeply as we eat on the plane will make a bland meal taste a whole lot better. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Here are today's headlines from The Source, WOCA, Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran is ripping into the justices who now sit on the Florida Supreme Court. The Lando Lakes Republican used a speech yesterday before a business organization to sharply criticize several justices. Corcoran, who recently became one of the most powerful people in state government, said that the high court over and over again uses rulings to rewrite Florida law. Corcoran, who is an attorney, faulted the court over decisions dealing with redistricting, education, 
education and workers' compensation insurance. Corcoran called the justices an enemy of free markets and a good business climate. Corcoran's comments come on the same day he met privately with Chief Justice Jorge Labarga. He said that Labarga explained to him why he opposes Corcoran's push to impose a 12-year term limit on judges. Authorities say more than a dozen people who appear to be from Colombia and Haiti are in custody after reaching Florida's Atlantic coast by boat. The Martin County Sheriff's Office says federal agents took 14 adults and two children into custody after their arrival at Jupiter Island. Sheriff's Office spokeswoman Christine Weiss says the group is made up of six males and eight females, including one who was pregnant and was taken to a hospital for observation. Weiss says others may have fled before authorities arrived in that air, ground, and marine unit of the sheriff's office were searching the area. Ocala Fire Rescue has issued a news release indicating that their fire stations will serve as food and toiletry collection sites for various local charities, including Interfaith, Salvation Army, and Brothers Keeper, through the Bring the Harvest Home campaign, as well as Pay It Forward Ministries. All six Ocala Fire Rescue stations have been outfitted with drop boxes in expectation for public offerings of non-perishable food and toiletries as a tangible demonstration of hope for less fortunate families in our community. Donations will be accepted until Monday, December 19th. The requested items include dry foods and goods such as rice, pasta, pasta sauce, cereal, crackers, peanut butter, and jelly. They note that items in jars should be in plastic jars and not glass jars. Also canned meats such as corned beef, corned beef hash, ham and tuna, and canned vegetables and fruit. Also baby items such as baby cereal, diapers and lotion, and toiletries such as soap, shampoo, deodorant, toothbrush, brushes and toilet paper. A Jacksonville movie studio that produced silent-era films catering to an African-American audience has been designated a National Historic Landmark. Florida Secretary of State Ken Detzner yesterday said that Norman Film Studios has been given the honor. The studio is now owned by the city of Jacksonville, which is working to partially restore the studio. The studio's owner, Richard Norman, was among the first filmmakers to produce movies that catered to African-Americans in the 1920s. The silent-era movies often starred African-Americans American actors in positive professional film roles, such as lawyers and pilots. The National Historic Landmarks program honors places that are nationally significant or historic. Disney and Star Wars fans crowded around Spaceship Earth at Epcot last night to celebrate the release of Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and get updates on new Star Wars experiences coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios. The highlight of the After Hours event was the transformation of Spaceship Earth into the Death Star. Many Disney fans freaked out over the news, but they can rest easy. It was only for one night. And those are the headlines from the source, WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. See, boating is no accident. On this Tuesday, a lot of clouds, breezy, warm and humid, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm crossing the area into this evening. High today, 80 to 84, and mostly cloudy later Tuesday night, low 52 in the northern part of the zone to 63 in the south. Wednesday, sunshine returns with lower humidity, highs the 70s. Thursday, partly sunny, high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hey, this is Carol Ann from In the Garden with Carol Ann. I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year. Merry Christmas. I'm Jennifer, the Executive Director of Palm Garden, and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I'm Mary Ann, the Director of Clinical Services, and my staff and I will ensure that the needs of all our residents are met. I'm Sue, the Director of Guest Services, and I will be fluffing pillows for our new guests staying with us over the holidays. I'm Crystal, also from Palm Garden, and I hope each of you have a blessed Christmas as we celebrate the Savior's birth. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from Palm Garden! Today in Florida Ag News, from a southeast ag network, Kubota Tractor Corporation announced last week it has begun construction on an important 617,000-plus square foot expansion of its national distribution center here in the southeast. It will all take place on the company's existing property in Jefferson, Georgia. That's adjacent to the Kubota Industry Equipment Facility off I-85 North. Scheduled for completion in July of next year, the expansion's nearly $16 million investment is a direct response to Kubota's continued growth 
growth and manufacturing demands in its compact tractor, utility vehicle, and turf product markets. Alex Woods, Vice President of Product Resources, Parts, and Divisional Operations for Kubota Tractor Corporation, said we are diversifying our product lines and expanding our operational footprint in Georgia to better respond to ongoing dealer and customer demand. The newly expanded National Distribution Center will store and process Kubota equipment for distribution to dealers around the country. Kubota's new M7 series helps you get the most success out of every acre with 170 horsepower, unprecedented comfort, and premium performance features. Right now, a Kubota M7 can be yours with 0% financing for up to 84 months and a generous competitive trade-in bonus. The M7 is Kubota's smartest and largest tractor ever. Add one to your year-end checklist. Call toll-free 1-800-794-4992 for details about cost and terms. Power and other specifications are based on various standards or recommended practices. I've been looking all over, all over the world. Hey y'all, I'm Josh Turner. Whether you're a hometown girl or a backwoods boy, come to Nashville for the 2017 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show. You'll see the biggest cattle industry trade show with over six acres of displays, plus an exclusive concert with Cowboys Night at the Opry. Mosey on down to Music City, February 1st through the 3rd. Find out more at beefusa.org. Randall Wiseman, Southeast, Agnet. 